Hi, hello, I'm Miss Patricia, and today we are at Chick fil A, and um, we just spent, what was it, 21? 21, 21, 23. 21, 23, and he is going on and on about Chick fil A. I mean, they broke it down into four lines. I got people out here taking numbers, or taking, taking orders, and taking payment, and this thing is just flowing. Like, what other fast food restaurant takes care of the customers that fast? There are like 30, 70, 70 cars, I'd say. 30. 70 easy look they're all the way back to the road behind us and in front of us One, two, three, four, there's four five, lines six, seven, okay so there's at least 50 cars 50 cars and it is just it is just rolling along and nobody's acting crazy and nobody's cutting anybody off except for Glenn though I'm not cutting <laughs> um They're even bringing people's food out to them to cars. That's what they do. It's just, it's awesome. That's why they got a name with my order. It's just awesome. And we, you know what the thing is? We don't even eat Chick-fil-A that often. This is the second time in my life. Because it's always crowded, but I mean, they move they move fast. This is the second time in my life I've ever ate Chick-fil-A. Oh, look, there's another meal coming. I was craving Chick-fil-A because I am, oh, I'll have a TMI pregnancy tag later. Hold on. All right, so I'll have a TMI pregnancy video soon. But right now we're, um, why do you put your hand on that? Like you gotta, why are you so fuzzy? Cause like, your dog. No, that ain't my dog. I don't know what that is. And you're hairy. Like Dust where, your face. where is the lint roll? Oh, here. Glenn? No, that's not us. Sorry, I got a lint roll him. He's crap. I feel like a child. I'm helping you. See, I'm up here. We got to do something with our dog. We got to do something. Do it around your underneath it. It's underneath your beard. It's all hairy. Um, I'm so hungry. Like, you just don't understand how hungry I am. I I want to tell you guys, but I can't tell you because this is a mukbang and I don't. Wait, it's a pranksy mukbang. Do you just smell it? I smell something awful and I was wondering if it was that. Ew. What's that smell? I don't know. I wonder if it's uh, one of these vehicles. I hope it's not our food. It's not Chick Fil A. It Chick -fil -A. smells like bo, Glenn. It's one of these cars. It's one of these employees. <laughs> it smells like pure bo. That's ours. What? That's not. That smells like bo. Is that you? You wore deodorant? Yeah, I wore deodorant. You're so mean. Yeah, hairs all over you. I'm offended by you. You yeah. didn't even smell it until we got here. So how could it even be me? Yeah, true. When? This went by fast. Mm. It, by, it went by really fast. So rude. I'll stop. No, I'm offended by you. Cancel her. We have a Cancel. video of us talking about people getting offended, so go check that video out. It'll be before this one. That one's ours. Is it? No. That's ours. Yeah, two large drinks. And a bag. Right here. Yep, we got food. Hello. Yes, it is. Thank you. My pleasure. You have a wonderful day. You too. Let's get somewhere and eat. Park right here. Park right here. Oh. Cars coming in and out. Park right there. Right in the tree. I'm hungry. I want to eat mine hot. Hot, hot, hot. We got drinks. We got Chick-fil-A drinks. Here, let's hold our bags up so we get them now. Here, you hold the bag up. And I'll That's hold. crazy because now that I'm over here, I got to go all the way back around. The okay, floor. here. Hold the bag up. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Okay. Here. That's yours. I got to get the drinks up first. I gotta have something to drink. I'm really, really thirsty. Like, I'm going to die. Mmm. What's yours? I told you I'm thirsty. Okay, get your drink. Mmm. I can do their tea. 
tea. You know it's weird. I can't do unsweet tea. Maybe you only like sweet tea now. I can't do unsweet tea like I've always done. I can only do sweet tea. Can I have some chicken nuggets? Start this meal off with. Ooh. We got fry. We didn't show you guys what we got. That is the chicken nuggets. Look how good these look. So good. And then we got french fries. I got a plain chicken sandwich. He got, what'd you get? Spicy chicken deluxe. I feel like their little chicken nuggets is the best chicken nuggets in the world. Mmm. Actually, I don't know. I don't want them no more. Really? Yeah. Mm-mm. I can't do them. Get them. My taste buds have been awful lately. I made dinner. What? Don't eat all your fries because I may have to eat them. I may not be able to eat my sandwich. Being pregnant has definitely affected my taste buds a lot. I made a really good dinner last night. I made pork chops. What did I make? Stuffing. Baked potato, green beans, green beans, cauliflower. I couldn't eat none of it, but a little bit of the baked potato. He had cheesecake. Glenn had a good dinner last night. That yeah, was delicious. And guess what? You get to eat all that for leftovers today. All right, tonight for dinner, you get to eat all that. I don't know what I'm going to eat for dinner. Better bring me some extra barbecue sauce. That pork chop is dry as hell now. I'll probably have to pick me up at like a double cheeseburger and take it home for dinner tonight. At McDonald's. Try your chicken before you don't want fries. That's the weird thing. It's like everybody's been telling me. Oh, here we go. Look how good that looks. It looks so good. Everybody's been telling me too. Huh. It's okay, but it's juicy. I don't like it. Um, what if I eat this real slow? Everybody's been telling me not to eat fast food and all this stuff, but you know what the sad thing is? Glenn brought me in a Whopper and a fry, and that's the only thing I ate all day yesterday. It's the only thing I keep down. So I don't know what's wrong with me. There ain't no way I'm gonna be able to back out. I, I, I never should listen to you. I never was big on fast food. Like, you have to admit, I've never really been big on just eating hamburgers and stuff, have I? Not really. I mean, it was a treat for us to go out and get a hamburger and fry and stuff. But I've always been on, like, Steaks and stuff like that. And it's like now I can't eat none of that. Why? Is it just because little baby don't like it? Is my little baby gonna be a junk food person? That don't mean anything, does it? Like how I'm eating now doesn't mean how my baby's gonna eat, does it? No. If that was the case, there'd be so many kids that eat chocolate covered pickles. My mom, she said when she was pregnant with me, she wanted nothing but tomatoes. And you know, I did not like tomatoes growing up. Do you think that had something to do with it? No. I think it was a texture I didn't like tomatoes. But let me tell you, these french fries, I can do. I can do these all day. I love these. They're not too salty. How I'm surviving right now is literally I'm eating plain. I can't do Doritos. I can't do no seasoning of chips. I can only eat plain Snyder potato chips. And I've been eating those fine. That's what, that was my dinner last night. Plain Snyder potato chips and dip. It wasn't dip. It was Italian dressing. Yeah, Italian dressing. 
And then I realized today I can't do time dressing because I ended up eating time dressing today with noodles and <laughs> and it bad. I hate I can't do the chicken nuggets. I can barely do this chicken. I ain't enjoying it. I'm enjoying the heck out of these french fries though. Mm, they eat all mine. You can have mine. No, I don't want to eat yours. Thank you. I've been so starved. Mmm, I ate all my french fries. Ooh. Yeah, I say for dinner tonight, I'm just going to, oh, you're so sweet. I say for dinner tonight, I'm just gonna pick up a double cheeseburger for McDonald's. Maybe two of them. And I could just eat them cold. It's probably the best way to eat them because they'll dry out. Yeah. Grease and stuff to get me, but I, I'm... I'm just having a hard time eating and keeping anything down. Like, I'm scared to death. Like, this bread, for some reason, it feels buttery. Is it? They butter the bread. Ugh, that's what I'm not liking. She said no buttery bread. And that's the thing with me. Like, I don't know what I can eat and what I can't eat. Just not eat it. And something that she don't like now, she probably likes later. I loved these before, remember? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about as you're pregnant. Like you don't like it now, but next time you try it, you'll be like, they didn't butter my bread. I wish they had buttered it. The thing about me is that we have learned during this pregnancy not to buy up a lot of things because I'd say I like it. Tried that. Wasted money. She changes her mind real quick. If I eat it today and I like it. There ain't no guarantee she'll like it tomorrow. Yeah. Or even five minutes from now. It's crazy to me that I did not like sweet. Did you notice I've drank unsweet tea for years? And when I drink sweet tea, I'm like, ew, that's too sweet. Remember when I think it was here, I said this was too sweet. And the sad thing is now, I can only drink sweet tea and water. I love sweet tea now. What is um what does unsweetened tea taste like to you now? It's awful. It tastes like swamp water. Wow. Swamp water? I guess stuff in your beard. But why? Why would you say that? Does it, does it always taste like swamp water to you? Yeah. I'm from the south. Southerners like sweet tea. The sweeter the better. That's why McDonald's can't really call their tea Southern Sweet Tea, because it's not. It's crazy. Everything that I love before pregnancy, I don't like now. I don't like coconut anything. My mom got coconut, those little coconut truffle things I like. And I ate one this morning, and I had spit out. I couldn't even swallow it. I couldn't stand the taste of it. Is that not crazy? You know I love coconut. Anything coconut. Yeah, but I also know that you don't like it anymore. Well, after pregnancy? You ought to. Everything ought to go back to normal. I mean, one or two things might change, but it's not going to be like a drastic change. Are you dressed? I don't want more. I don't want more. I don't either. I can't eat more. I barely get full. I'm trying to eat my sandwich. I really like my tea. All right, my tea is really, really good. <sighs> it's been so miserable trying to eat. It's so miserable trying to find her stuff to eat. At this point, I can't worry if it's healthy if I'm eating it or not. I just gotta have something in my belly, you know? Like, it's hard for me to sit here and say, oh, I wanna eat healthy and all this stuff. I can't stand to smell meat being cooked now. I mean, don't get me wrong. 
You can bear a baby for nine months. You're a saint. You're awesome. You're amazing. But I think husbands that deal with pregnant wives, you're the unsung heroes. Whatever. He was good last night. He was. The he stuff I have to deal with. I was deadly sick last night, was I not? Yeah. He brought me washcloth and... I made sure she always had ice cold water in. Yeah, it's just, it's been horrible. Then she threw a pillow at me because I was sleeping so soundly. Yeah. I toss and turn all night long. I'm not enjoying it when I sleep. And like, seriously, in my belly, it's like right here. It's like little bee stinks. What does that mean? You stretch. Or is that that little baby saying, ooh, stop eating this. It's pounding on the womb. Why it happens when you're not even eating? Uh, apparently, dicks at the Huntington Mall. Uh -huh. There were shoes. You get ten shoes, like sixty dollars shoes for eleven dollars yesterday. But people were standing in line for an hour, and only six people had time to go in. I just, I, I can't do it. I'm, I'm still hungry, but I just. Let me see how I'm going to get out of here. All right, guys. That is all for our video. Um, if you're pregnant, comment below the food that you can't eat and the food that you can eat. I'm having a hard time. I don't even know what I can and can't eat anymore. So, I am um, going on nine weeks pregnant now. So, um, we got a long road ahead, don't we? Alright guys, we'll see you in our very next mukbang video update. So see you guys later. Bye-bye.